this is Shannon from SIS4teachers.org. Today we're going to be showing you how to subtract with Springling. Springling is one of our favorite friends from the Math Mites. She has born with a quaint coily tail and she has very fluffy fur and fancy eyelashes. She likes to solve problems in Mathville by hopping on an open number line counting up or back. She has a secret that only some children know that she actually likes addition, even though she is supposed to be in the subtraction world. In fact, if you look at some of the photos of her, she's carrying plus balloons for that reason. Let's check out the way she is going to solve the problem 62 minus 36. When we look at these two numbers, we have the minuend, which is the first number in subtraction, and then we have what's called the subtrahend. When we make our open number line, we want to make it in order of how we're going. So I'm going to kind of make my open number line here. I'm going to put my subtrahend here because that would come first when I'm counting and put my minuend at the end. Now some students might struggle with finding friendly numbers. And so one of the things that I use is a open number line from Boxcars and One-Eyed Jacks. One of the reasons why I like this particular number line from Boxcars is because it is circles all of the decade numbers, which helps students to understand friendly numbers. So if I was at the 36, we have to decide because Springling likes to not hop one, 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 one. She wants to hop really high to make her fur fluffy. So if we're at 36, if I was going along, what is the next decade number? I know the next decade number is going to be 40. So I'm going to plot out 40 and I'm going to tell Springling to get ready and she's going to hop. Springling hop. She likes to keep track of her hop. So she went four. Now, some students might want to go from the 40 to the 50 to the 60, which you certainly could do that, but I know Springling would be really happy if I hopped even further. So I could go past the decade 50 and continue to 60. We're going to say, hop, Springling, hop. She's going to hop really far. In this case, she's going to go 20. She doesn't have very much more left to go so we're going to hop from 60 to 62 and she knows that she's only hopped two because springling really likes to take keep track of her hops because of how large her coily tail is she likes to count her hops so she knows she's gone a total of 26 hops so we know 62 minus 36 is 26. Springling likes to make math fun for students. And so we can use Springling for fractions, for time, for money, and even for decimals. Check out our other videos at SIS, the number four, teachers.org. We're so happy that you've joined us today and would invite you to come to any of our social media channels from Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, LinkedIn, as well as our, um, our website, SIS, the number four, teachers. Thanks so much for joining us.